guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have a fun video plan for you today. And this is my planner wish list. And these are things that I wish that Santa would bring to me. Things that I want, but don't want to spend my own money on. Uh, just can't justify the purchases. Uh, you know, considering the things that I currently already have. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, y'all. First and foremost, okay. Do y'all know about Cardinal Planners? Because if not, like, so I can't speak personally to the quality, like, because I don't have one. But just from looking online at other people who do, like, y'all, these are like handmade planner covers. And you can build custom ones like if you want a traveler's notebook if you want rings they even have checkbook covers look at this ombre <laughs> so basically um i started scrolling and i started just like tearing up with how beautiful these are like these shaker ones look at the burn book i mean i I don't even know. There's not there's nothing to say. Like look at these. They're just absolutely beautiful. Like look at look at that. Oh my god. So what I'm currently uh kind of lusting over is a B6 traveler's notebook cover. And if you watch my video from yesterday where I was uh shopping my stash and I found those video game prints that I said um, I really wanted to, you know, use in a B6TN cover. This is what I'm kind of thinking as far as what my cover will be. Now, the customization, like, this is why I'm thinking of, of doing one of these and, like, just saving up my money to get what I really want. Like, look at the pattern. Like, look at all these. It, it keeps going. It just keeps, like, <laughs> how am I supposed to choose? Like, what the heck? So, and you'll see here, like, you can do all different sizes. They have micro, pocket, A6, personal, B6 slim, B6, standard, wide, A5. Um, yeah. So, like, what I would do is go here and do B6. So, that adds to no. So, that's $35. Spine options. Um, I don't think I need chunky. Like, chunky is, um, I don't know. And then it's like stitch spine or not stitch spine. Like, I don't, I don't know. Um, four bands, eight, mm, eight bands. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. I would say no stitch spine. Standard. Pocket style. Wavy, straight, clip, or I don't want pockets. Um, so, like, these wavy ones are really cute. So there's the straight, and there's the clip. Mm, the wavy ones are really cool because they're just, they're just really unique, you know? I like the wavy. Would you like an applique? So this is where it's going to get costly. And this is where I want to create something very um, custom. And so I was thinking of doing maybe the, uh, the moth from The Last of Us Part 2. Um, maybe, you know, Sick Parvis Magda and have Drake's ring, like just something that is something I really, really love that will make my planner cover just like truly unique. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet. And look, you can choose inner fabric cover, inner pocket fabric cover, thread color, elastic, like it is just incredibly customizable. And, you know, I mean, look, I mean... Yeah. So, and they also have, you don't have to do custom. They have ready to ship covers, um, which I think these are so, look, look how cute. 
look how cute that is. Like they have ones that are that are just ready to go. You, I mean, you see a lot of them are sold out. So I'm glad people are purchasing them. I love this like Lisa Frank one. Oh my god, I can't. Mm. It is very hard to control yourself. Mm. Wow, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. These are gorgeous. I yeah. So anyway, that's the first thing. Uh, a Cardinal Planners B60 and cover. And I would eventually like to get... So she also has notebook covers. So you can do... Oh! I know what it is. I know what it is that I want. I forgot about this, y'all. Okay. This is another thing I want. Now, again, I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. No la necesito. So for this one, I want this to be my cover for my nine disc catch-all, which is the classic Happy Planner size. So basically you can choose a snap-on cover or you can choose the wraparound. So it would be like this and it would just wrap around my planner. So like I have a planner right here. So I already have like a clear snap-on cover. Um, and then I have like this on the inside. But just to have like something to wrap around this. Now I do have a planner pouch. I have this pouch that I keep my planner in. But to have like another, like a cover around it, like it's just a dream. And like when I saw this bat, I was like, forget it. So let's just see how much this would be. Oh, yeah. Mm. Would you like to add elastic bands for inserts to your happy planner? Wow. Now that's cool. So you could not only have this in there, but you could have elastic bands to put inserts. That's pretty cool. I don't need that, but that's cool. Would you like a charm clip loop? Absolutely. Pocket style. Oh, a bat with hearts is just amazing to me. All right. So extras. It yeah, because I don't think this is any extra. So it would be 35 plus 28, 25. So, you know, it gets a little pricey, but again, this is like a custom cover. And I mean, like, I would just die if I had this. I would just completely die. Like, if this was, and so instead of the, like, the orange is really pretty, but my dream would probably be, oh God, it's so hard to choose. Like, oh my God. Honestly, this purple sparkle, though, or I think she has purple jelly <laughs> stop yeah i would have to like really think about that it's hard to choose but uh, mm. yeah so this for my uh catch-all and then a custom b6tn cover for the video game b6tn that i want to create that i can't create because i don't have a cover <laughs> to hold the inserts that i also don't own Okay, so that's the first thing. The next thing on my wish list is this uh, this paper by Yellow Paper House, and I really want. Um, let me just let me just show you. So, what I really like about this, and again, I've never used this paper, so I can't like vouch for it. Um, reviews online say it's really great quality, but I love that there's all these different options. So you can choose. Um, you know, five millimeter lines, wide lines, grid, tiny grid, tiny dot, dot. Like you have a lot of options. Um, and the cross grid I think is really cool too. And these are all the different colors that you can get the paper. And I love the thought of like colored paper uh, in my planner. I just think that's so fun. Like some weeks you might just want to, you know, use colored paper and change it up. But what I'm really wanting right now is the tiny grid and I want the white 32 pound like I want that like nice paper you know what I mean um and so it's like it's not that expensive and you get 40 sheets for 950 so that's not bad seems like good quality again this is I mean I can't vouch for it I don't own it but it's something I've just been like really putting off ordering because y'all I'm cheap and I was like hoping to get maybe like a discount or something. 
So I've been like holding out and I really want some of this blackout paper as well. And I can just use this. I don't need a pen because I already have one. Now this is 30 sheets. So you get less paper um, in the blackout, but I really, I really want to get some um, just for like some weeks if I want to do just a blackout spread. I just think that'd be fun. So that <laughs> is, I know it seems silly to like, not just, uh, it's like, it's not that expensive, but again, I'm cheap and I'm hoping maybe they'll have a sale and I can get some of this paper. The next thing, I mean, what planner girl doesn't have this on their wish list? Now, when I saw this price, I was actually shocked um, because when I've like gone in different stores, even like Walmart, uh, the model liners are like 20 something dollars and this is 15 for 13.59 like i'm really really practicing self control with not ordering these right now because <laughs> that's a really good freaking deal um and it's it's hard it's hard to um to not just like buy right now <laughs> and they'll be here in two days but i do realistically i already have the gray and the brown. I have uh, that purple on the left there. And I have, it's not exactly that red, it's a different red. So I know these aren't all the colors. Um, I mean, there's, I mean, look at all the colors. Like, yeah, that's the purple that I have. I don't have that purple and I have the two dark grays or the light and the dark gray and then the brown. Um, but I just want all the colors. I want all the mod liners. <laughs> I want them all. Um, yeah, kind of simple, but just something that if Santa put these in my stocking, I would be, I'd be pretty happy. Now, this next thing, okay. The thing that, that makes this so like upsetting is that it's on my wish list and I can't, like, you can't get it. It's gone. Um, and I feel like I missed out. <laughs> And I should have got it. So this is the blackout sticker book from the um, Halloween advent calendar from the honeybee shop. And I know she put the extras up on the site, but when the extras went up, I was busy doing something. I, I couldn't get right on the computer or on my phone. And by the time I got there, like half an hour later, the blackout sticker books were all gone. And I'm really upset because I really want the sticker book. So this is a video by Tessa Likes to Plan. Should definitely subscribe to her. She's awesome. And she did um, un an unboxing of both the pink out and the black out uh, sticker book. She did two videos to cover the entire thing. And so this is the black out sticker book. And just, I, I could die. Like I could, I could just cry. I could just cry right now at how bad I want this. Like, <sighs> I want it so bad and I'm so mad at myself for like not being there as soon as the stuff went on sale. No, oh, I love it. It says boy dear. Oh my gosh. So if anyone knows anyone who has this and doesn't really care about it and wants to sell it to me, I will buy it. Um, I want to die. Now I did... <laughs> I did get the blackout die cuts. Those were still in stock when I got to the site and I am just absolutely in love with them. I've been hoarding them. Like I really, oh my gosh, I love them so much. And if I could have this sticker book to go along with it, like y'all, I could just, I could just cry right now. Like I want this sticker book so bad. <laughs> And like I was saying, like, oh, my God, if I had the black filler paper from Yellow Paper House and did blackout spread with these stickers. Stop. Oh, my God. So it is the same designs as the die cuts for the most part. There's a couple like that ghost is not one of the die cuts. There's a few like and the skeletons not either. Just the head actually is. But oh, my God. It's a goblet. <laughs> Yeah, so so that's um yeah, if anybody wants to, you know, um, you know, yeah. Okay, so this last thing, um, this is the you know, save the biggest for last kind of thing. 
It's a cricket, okay? And I know everyone in the mother wants cricket. And that's because they're great. Now, the thing with a cricket is that <sighs> I'm overwhelmed at the thought of using a cricket because I have absolutely zero experience, zero clue how to use the thing. However, People rave about these cricket machines and like being able to create your own stickers. And that's something I've always wanted to do, even if just to do personally and not to sell them. Uh, maybe eventually I could like create stickers and sell them, but like I really want a cricket just to create my own stickers. And like when I have digital files, I want to be able to print them out and make my own stickers and set up, you know, it'll save me a lot of money than having to like buy sticker kits and stuff. Um, yeah and it comes in lilac which is you know my favorite color and <laughs> yeah so as far as cricket like the different types of cricket machines like i know a lot of people have the um the silhouette and like this explore air 2 is this one like i don't exactly know the difference between all the different types of machines um i just know that I've seen people use this one to make stickers and yeah, I, I, I'm overwhelmed at the thought of it, but I really want one. I really like feel like it would be just so fun to like learn. It would be a new thing to like a new hobby, you know, like learning how to use a cricket. So yeah, that's the last thing on my wish list. and Santa, I've been real good this year. It's been a terrible year. So if you want to just, you know, bring this bring this by that'd be great all right y'all so that has been my planner wish list i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching what are the things that are on your wish list um i would really love to know so be sure you leave a comment uh, subscribe if you have not if you are not aware i am doing at least one video per day every day up through christmas i have been working my butt off uh, filming and editing and scheduling and making thumbnails and all that stuff. Um, but I've been having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos so far. So this is day five. We've got 20 more days to go. And I'm really looking forward to just, you know, sharing my ideas and things with you guys and getting your feedback. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and I will see you next time. Bye.